What is up guys, it's Samad here from SNTV and I'm back today to talk about how to get 240 plus on the USMLE step one. Now to my regular subscribers, um, I'm sorry I haven't put out a prank video for a while. I'm uh, really busy with my master's work and writing up my dissertation right now, but I have got something in the pipeline for you guys and it should be on the way pretty soon. So, um, the reason why I'm making this video is because I put up one of me checking my results for my USMLE and it got a lot of traction and you guys just said uh, you really wanted to hear about my experiences so I thought I'd make another video uh, telling you about what I did and my thoughts on how I think you should study for the exam. So, I'm going to give you guys uh, three or four uh, key tips and tricks that I think really helped me when I was studying and I know it's a stressful time so uh, I want to try and pass on that advice as best as I can. Okay, so my first tip is study hard. I know it sounds obvious guys but really this is one, this is the toughest exam that I've ever done in my entire life and um, looking back I was doing about 12 hours a day for a good two months in prep for this. It's not something to be taken lightly. You go hard and you stay home. Not go hard or go home, you go hard by being home. So you know if you've got friends that keep kind of pulling you out try and get them to support you, tell them Listen guys, this is my exam time, please try not to distract me, support me, get with your family the same as well if they want you to kind of come downstairs watch a film or something like that, just you know, tell them you, you for this time have to be dedicated to your work and um, it's a really important commitment to make and um, I know it's obvious but it will make a big difference. Okay. The second thing is do not neglect exam technique. Practice your exam technique. Knowledge you will acquire by studying hard, okay? But exam technique is really what's going to transfer that knowledge into score, okay? The better your exam technique, the more you're going to be able to do with the knowledge that you have. And that's very important. So do you world, do the NBMEs. I didn't do the NBMEs myself, I didn't have time, I only had two months to prep, um, but seriously get that exam technique in, get the logic in, get the deduction in, okay? Third piece of advice is use as few resources as possible, okay? So for me, I used UWorld. First aid and Anki. That's it. Nothing else. Okay. For for you world uh, and um, first aid. Sometimes if I didn't understand the concepts that were described in there, I would go to something else. Uh, you know, maybe kind of a Google search or lots of really good descriptive YouTube videos on certain topics as well, and I would try and find some more info that way. But other than that, guys, really all you need to do is um, kind of stick to some key, core, tried and tested, high yield information sources, okay? Now with Anki, I highly, highly recommend it. I cannot stress this enough. And on my other video, when people have been asking me, yo, Samed, what did you do to get the score that you got? Um, I just said, guys, Anki, 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 it will help you remember the absolute masses which you need to, f to get a good score in this exam. So the way that I actually studied when I was doing my core with first aid, and this is why I think um, I managed to kind of do well with first aid uh, and New World mainly as my core resources is that I would go through a two page spread, okay? And then I would try and understand all of what was on those two pages and memorize it. 
then I would use a voice recording tool and explain it back to myself or as if I was teaching myself the content and or teaching it to someone else and that way I felt as though um, I was confirming what I was learning on that two-page spread and I have all of those audio notes guys and I'll put the link in the description below so if you want that check it out download it um, some people said they've been having problems downloading it so let me know in the comment section if you can't download them okay now with UWorld I use this uh, Anki tool okay I know I've mentioned it a few times before if you don't know what it is it's a basically a spaced repetition tool and what that is is that it has research has been done to help develop it to find out when people are most likely to forget certain pieces of information and it's effectively flashcards which will pop up and remind you of something when you're most likely to forget it. I'm not going to talk too much about how it works guys, there's loads of information out there on the internet, there's plenty of tools on how to use Anki on YouTube as well. Um, but I do, I did buy a Anki deck from a website called usmle.com, I'll link it in the description below and it cost me about $120. I do have that but I'm not going to link it in the description because the guy who worked on that deck I'm sure worked very 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 hard and he's a USMLE tutor uh, who scored a, about 270 in his exam, really clever guy. Um, if you desperately desperately want it, if you message me on my Facebook page maybe I can send it to you individually but I'd, I don't want to kind of open source it out to the, the whole internet and I'm, I'm sure you can understand why that's someone else's livelihood so um, basically with the Anki the way I would recommend using it is for you world when you get a key piece of information you will record it as a flashcard okay and um, then when when you every day wake up to do your kind of standard study schedule you should go back and do these flashcards okay you do about 50 a day and then um, some days they will pop up uh, again after you get through the core ones and they will say okay listen you're about to forget this pieces of inf these pieces of information uh, you need to look over them again okay and that's how Anki works okay so my fourth tip okay, is going to be do what works for you. Okay? There's plenty of information out there on the, on the internet, plenty of people saying I did this and I got this score, I did this and I got this score and there's always going to be that guy who's like, oh, well actually uh, for you to do well on the USMLE, you need to use Pathoma, First Aid, uh, do all the NBMEs about two years before. And you need to learn every single drug and every single mechanism and every single side effect and interaction. No. Okay? You do what works for you. Okay? And there are people like that all over the internet. All over the internet. And you don't let them get to you, okay? Um, just find out the way that you learn. I have used audio notes through medical school and that's why I am uh, quite comfortable with the technique and it's always helped me out. So always do what works for you. If you make written notes, make written notes. Um, and just as long as you're consistent with it all, it should be fine, okay? So my fifth and final point is relax, okay? When you're coming up to the days of your exam, you're going to be stressed the hell out, like literally tearing out your hair, like you, you, all of your hair is going to look like my sides, okay? So just the worst thing that you can be doing is fighting yourself whilst you're fighting for knowledge. Okay, that is a completely counterproductive way of working. And I know that this is a problem, guys, because when I posted my first um, 
video saying checking my USM lease at one school. I said, if anyone needs any help, message me on my Facebook page, okay? I woke up one morning and I had 26 new messages. I was like, okay, okay, that's fine. You know, you guys are interested and there must be a few different people asking me questions. They were all from the same person who has their exam in two years time. Now, I don't mean to pick on this person at all, and I'm obviously not gonna reveal who they are, but this level of anxiety is not conducive to a healthy mind, a healthy study schedule, and a good exam result. Because if you over worry about something, then you're not gonna perform as well as you could. And uh, as you, you, I'll show you that by a performance anxiety curve over here which uh, kind of shows you that it's good to be like some have some level of nerves but too many is not good okay well that concludes my video for today guys if you found it useful please give me a thumbs up and subscribe i usually make funny videos check out my other ones and um, i like i said i've got some good stuff in the bank coming soon and uh, if you need anything just uh, drop me uh, a comment or you can check me out on my Facebook page or my Twitter which is here. See you later guys. Take care. Peace.